I live at number 17, Mill Road, Roslyn, New Jersey. My name is Clifford Swimmer. I am 40 years old. I live at number 17, Mill Road, Roslyn, New Jersey. My name is Clifford Swimmer. I am 40 years old. I live at number 17, Mill Road, Roslyn, New Jersey. My name is Clifford Swimmer. I am 40 years old. I live at number 17, Mill Road, Roslyn, New Jersey. My name is Clifford Swimmer. I am 40 years old. I live at number 17, Mill Road, Roslyn, New Jersey. Take it easy, Mr. Swimmer. Take it easy. I've been coming here for months, telling you my problems, talking into that dumb machine. I owe you 50 bucks a session, doctor, and nothing is happening. Nothing. The money is not important to me, Mr. Swimmer, and something is happening. Yeah? What? I still have a job that I hate, a wife that bores me, a stepson that ignores me, a mortgage I can't pay, an ulcer, crabgrass. Trust me. Why should I trust you? Why did you come here? Because I was drowning, doctor. Because I heard you on television talk about something called psychogenetics, so I looked you up. You made a wise move. Yeah, well, I'm about to make another wise move, doctor. I'm bailing out. This is our last session. Mr. Swimmer. Oh, don't give me the Mr. Swimmer routine, please. Just hear me out. Five months ago, you had just tried to drive your car through a cement wall. That was an accident. Was it? Or an act of desperation? I was drunk, doctor. At ten in the morning? Well, if you live with my wife, you'd, uh, you'd take a shot every once in a while, too. Unfortunately, I've never met your wife. St. Janet of Hackensack? The world's uh, most understanding woman. She forgives me, doctor. For what? For everything. For sins I'm not even capable of committing. It makes you feel guilty. Yeah, sure. The whole load. White Anglo-Saxon Protestant guilt. Huh? It makes Jewish guilt look like happiness. If I were a Catholic, at least God could forgive me. Do you, uh, do you believe in God, doctor? I believe in science, Mr. Swimmer. Man punishes himself. He can save himself. Mm. I can save you. How? What do you expect? I'm at a quick mercy killing. Mr. Swimmer, your life is a very precious matter. If you could live it any way you wanted, what would you do? Any way I wanted to, huh? OK. I'd chuck it all and go away. Buy myself a big old beautiful sailboat and settle down in the Caribbean. Take on an occasional charter or two and live the kind of life my body was made for. Alone? Oh, no, doctor. Not alone. You have someone in mind? Indeed, I do. Ah, who would that be? Her name? Madeline Rivers. She's a promotion writer at the network. She, uh, she's bright, she's witty, and she's got a figure like an hourglass with two extra hours of sand. And she likes sailing. Would she go away with you? Borrow well, free. Why not just get a divorce? Doctor, divorce is even more expensive than marriage. I make $20,000 a year. I'm mortgaged up to my hips. I'm married to a woman who is so dependent on me that she would stop breathing if I okayed it. I met her when she was uh, recently widowed. I adopted her son. Oh, no, no. Even a bad divorce lawyer would have me in hock for the rest of my life. That is not exactly my idea of freedom. I see. Go. Oh. What's the magic word? The magic word, Mr. Swimmer, is psychogenetics. You know, I've been coming here almost six months, and I still don't know what psychogenetics means. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Your hand. Inside that single cell, your entire genetic history is coded. Every cell in our body is like a tiny computer. It stores every bit of data concerning us. Ever since the Nazis began experimenting in their death camps in World War II, we've known that it's possible to fertilize a single cell from any part of the body and reproduce an entire human being. Fascinating, Doctor. 